Hello and welcome to today's workout with me, Natalia Love Yourself. Today is a beginner pillow or a cushion workout for abs. No equipment, do it in your home and it's only 16 minutes and you're gonna get your abs worked out, you're gonna lose that fat around your waistline, you're gonna get your core stronger and you're gonna progress to the next level by doing this one. Once again, no equipment. I am using a pillow. Um, you can use a soft toy. You can even um, not use anything and pretend that uh, you have an item in your hands. I think that it's just fun to add something um, to your workouts so they become more enjoyable. And to me, that looks pretty cute and I would want to have a workout with a cushion like that. So let's get this one done together. 16 minutes, we've got 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest and we're doing two circuits. If you feel really strong and you can do it with the proper form twice and you feel that you still have energy left in you, do it three times and you're gonna get an extra workout. So it will take you 24 minutes instead of 16, just add another round. So let's set the timer up and we're gonna go on a floor uh, on your back. So starting it now, we've got 15 seconds. We've got a pillow pass here. So get a pillow between your legs. Make sure that your lower back is touching the floor. And from here, we're gonna reach out and get our pillow and straighten our arms. And then exchange it here. If you find this is too hard for you, bend your legs. But make sure that this contact is always there. So the moment you're lowering your legs down and you're losing that contact, that's it, that's the maximum and the lowest you can go to because that is what makes a huge difference when we are working our abs. So if you cannot keep that post, past a certain point, that's it, just work in that region until your core becomes stronger. Good job. Next one is good night pillow. Okay, so bend your knees to 90 and put pillow cushion in between your knees. Make sure that contact is still there. Lower your legs to the side. And once again, when you start losing that contact, that's it, that's the lowest you can get. So you might start a tiny bit. So you might go that far. Or you might even just go a little bit to the floor. That is fine. We are all starting somewhere. And we're going to progress with each workout. Engage that core. It should be tensed and engaged throughout the whole exercise. Lower your legs. Feel the side of your abs, so your obliques are engaged and your actual abs, your core, the front is engaged. Okay, hold curl. Okay, here. Place your feet onto the floor, uh, hip width apart, and hold your pillow up high like so. Then come up and do a curl. But here, we are only lifting our shoulder blades off the floor. Tiny bit, a fraction. Our abs are working really hard. You will feel it in your upper part. Upper part of your abs. Exhale when you're coming up and inhale when you're laying down. Exhale and inhale. Stay there for a split second when you're coming up. Don't need to go too high up. Just literally lift your shoulder blades off the floor. Okay. Oblique pillow lift. Here we go, lay onto your side, straighten your legs and keep that pillow between your legs. Then lift your legs to the side and you're gonna get that burning sensation here. 
If you cannot get that done, bend your legs and lift them just a fraction of the floor. Lower them down, lift them up. If you can, straighten your legs. If you are a complete beginner, just do it this way. Make sure that you don't swing your legs up. You're controlling the movement. On the way up and on the way down. And on the way up and on the way down. If it's easier, you can place your hand um, behind your head. Whatever works best for you, but try to keep your body as stable as possible. So we are working out our abs through the exercise. Okay, we have three seconds to go. So straighten your legs if you can. If not, just keep them bent and lift. Engage it all here, your entire core, your obliques. And exhale, move your way up. And down. And another one. Try to stay on your side as much as you can. If you lean backwards, it's not going to work your obliques as much, it's just going to target your abs. And we want this area to be worked out. So getting stronger and getting leaner. Okay, moving on to 90 pillow lift. Bend your legs so you're, you have a 90 degree angle in your knees. Make sure this contact is still there. And then straighten your legs and bring them back up. Make sure you do not lose your pillow and you do not lose that contact with the floor. Go as low as you can and then return. Your abs are engaged for the whole exercise. Do not rush, do not swing. Go as low as you can if you're a complete beginner. It will be just a fraction. So even if it's that much, that is fine. So wherever you're starting at, it is just your starting point. It does not make you any weaker or any different. We all have our starting point. Okay, so now we're doing a pillow twist. So standing still on the floor, keeping our pillow. Now we're going to come up higher, but not fully up. So you're still in that V position and twist your body. And then go over and back down, but do not drop that on the floor. And come up. And rotate to the other side. And down on the floor. And come up. And this way. If you do it without a pillow, you could hold your arms in front of you like so. And down. And then up. And then rotate to the other side. And then down. And then come up again. See? Even for me, it is a work out because it is still targeting our core. And we can all make it stronger. Okay, so we're doing now a plank walk without losing that pillow. So get that pillow on your back and go into a plank. Now we're going to be walking down walking back up and trying to keep our body as stable as possible. For a complete beginner, go on your knees. But make sure that there is something soft under your knees always to protect them. So do it off your knees if you're just starting and pay attention to that straight line in your body. So don't rotate too much and do not lose the pillow. Okay, but if you can, do it in a plank. And then come up. And go down, try to alternate your hands. And go down with your left. And then go down with the right on the next one. Okay, and we're going to the second round already. Okay, pillow pass. With straight legs, but once again, as straight as you can keep them with that contact off your lower back. So pass it, and then lower it down. And pass it again. 
do remember if you can start like this and then you feel that you're giving up do not stop before the beep so what you do you modify so bend your knees do it that way demonstrate as you can but keep that contact because that will engage your core greatly and it will protect your spine and your back okay and moving on to good night pillow side so, keeping that pillow between our knees and we're gonna bring our legs down to one side and towards the other with that contact once again okay and the other side and towards this side lower it as much as you can without arching your back so keep it nice and straight And I've got my cat singing me. She's probably saying, come on, you can't do it. It is hard. Our core needs to be worked out, especially if you are sitting down a lot, because this is when we become weak in our core. Okay, pillow hold curl. So we are curling. Baby, can you just move a little bit? So we're lifting our shoulder blades just a fraction of the floor and lowering back down and again and lowering down and down engage your core keep the contact contact with the floor you will feel how hard that is it might look not so hard but believe me when you try it you feel it and another one keep going keep going well done moving on to a black pillow lift so going into one side and then we're going to switch so try to do it with your straight legs if you cannot bend them but the point is stay on your side do not lean backwards stay on your side and up and down and up you should feel the tension here feel it touch yourself and feel it to make sure that you are activating your obliques so your side here should be all tensed good job control every movement turn up and down good job moving on to the other side okay doing good Hopefully sweating already. Okay, get ready. Gonna do it on the other side. You might find that one side is stronger than the other. So we're gonna balance it out by continuously working out. So the weaker side is gonna catch up with the stronger side. Okay, and up. And down. And up. And down. Our abs are getting stronger with every single rep. Good job. And now we're moving on to a pillow lift. Okay, let's just stay on this side. Okay, so we're going to try to keep our legs at 90 here and then lower them down, but keep your back on the floor. And again, down. 
Moving up and try not to lose that pillow. Your body should be shaking, your core working. Good job, go as low as you can, but do not lose that contact. I say it a lot because it is so important. And we have only a few seconds to go. And lower it down. And bring it back up. Okay, we are moving on to a pillow twist. So what we're doing here is we're coming up to form a V. And then we're rotating to one side and then going down on the floor and then coming up again and moving to the other side. So twisting our body by keeping our butts on the floor still and just rotating the trunk, your torso to the side. Don't come up too high. So you should always feel your abs engaged. So if you've come up too high, you don't really need to engage your abs anymore to hold you up in that position. But when you're in that V shape, this is when your abs are activated. And come up. Let's just finish it off. Okay, now we're doing our plank walk. So, put that pillow on your back, cushion, toy, whatever you're using, your child, your pet, literally anything. And from here, we're gonna lower it down, and we're gonna come up. Remember, you can do it off your knees, if it's too hard. So go onto your knees, and do that way. But keep your body in a straight line. Down, and up, and down, and up. Make sure that you place your hands underneath your shoulders. And breathe throughout the movement. Do not hold your breath. Guys, and that's it. This is our workout for today. So well done to all of you. Thumbs up to anyone who completed this workout with me now. It is We've never even stood up, so the whole thing was on the floor. But I hope that you feel it in your arms. It was a great workout. Honestly, if you do have a sedentary lifestyle or a job, you need to work especially on your abs and on your glutes. Because these two parts, they get very lazy from sitting down because they're not being activated. So we're not only losing fat and getting stronger, and decreasing that waistline, making it nice and hourglass shaped. But we're benefiting because it is good for our health and we need to be balanced out. Every single muscle in our body, it should be balanced out because one, when one is weaker and another one is stronger, the disbalance triggers even further disbalance because muscles are not being worked out and other muscles are doing their job which is not doing us any good. But by sticking with me, by doing these workouts with me, you are going to get stronger and you're going to look better as a result. So guys, make sure you watch my other videos. I've now got quite a few for beginners and I'm posting more and more and more, trying to shoot daily. So I can show you everything you can do at home. And look, everyone has, one of those at home, right? Or even if not this, any objects which you can place on you. So my workouts are under 30 minutes. They're super effective, they're beneficial, not just, it's not just you're gonna look great, but they're so good for your health because you're gonna see how good you're gonna feel about yourself and how you will improve physically. So guys, make sure you leave me a comment, make sure you watch my other videos and you follow me. If you have not subscribed, please do it now so you do not miss any of my workouts. So well done to all of you once again. 
Please enjoy the rest of your day and remember the main thing, to love yourself, love your life and I love you all. And I'm thanking you once again for working out today and for giving yourself 16 minutes of love. So guys, love you all and I will see you tomorrow with another workout. Have a good day. Bye.